take the money and make it rain. And then watch. And pull it out. Take the coin and turn it into a magic wand. Turns face up. Dice cubes magically reappear. You can actually see the card magically balance. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Look. <laughs> it's disappearing. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Watch the car. Today I'm showing you 10 simple magic tricks that you can do at home. You can do it. So if you're ready, hit the thumbs up button and let's go. So I've got a cool trick to show you with this spoon. Real metal spoon, you can feel it, right? Mm -hmm. Genuine metal, verify that for everyone at home. Genuine metal spoon. Catch a little focus on that so they can see. Metal spoon. Watch, all we do is take the spoon, and if I dip it into the water, you can kind of see this happen. Watch. Wow. It's melting. <laughs> Isn't that cool? What? Look. It's disappearing. Isn't that crazy? Look, you can drop the whole thing in. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Uh-huh. The whole spoon just completely melts into the water. You wanna learn how it's done? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll teach you. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. So this is really simple to set up yourself. All you need is a spoon mold. This is actually a mold to make candy spoons. And the other thing you're going to need is this right here. It's called galley. It's a special type of metal that actually melts at a really low temperature. You know that liquid metal on the bottom? Uh-huh. Now once you have the gallium heated up to a certain temperature, it will actually become liquid and you can pour it into the mold. So you're just gonna fill the mold with the liquid gallium just like that. Then you want to place the spoon molds in the freezer so that they harden up. So once your spoons have hardened into shape in the freezer, you can remove them and handle them pretty openly. Then you wanna take a cup of hot water, as hot as you can get it. You can then take the spoon, tap it on the glass to show that it's real, tap it on the table, and then all you have to do is take the spoon and dip it into the water and watch. And just like that, the entire spoon will melt into the cup of water. Looks like it just completely disappears, or like the spoon is just somehow melting in water. It's crazy. It looks like real magic, and if you don't know the secret, it's probably one of the most amazing things you could ever see. It looks like the spoon is really just melting. Or sometimes, depending on the refraction of the glass, it looks like it's just disappearing into nothing as you dip it into the water. You can actually see all of the melted metal gallium in the bottom of the cup right there. If you can actually handle it, it will melt in your hands. The melting point is actually right around human body temperature. You want to play with it? Mm -hmm. <sighs> so heavy, it's crazy feeling. Oh, it feels so weird. All right, hold your hand. Whoa. Doesn't it feel weird? It feels heavy. <laughs> it's metal. Stay tuned until the end of the video if you want to win some gallium so that you can perform this amazing illusion at home. So a cool trick with a paper cup. I also have three ice cubes here. We have one ice cube goes right in the cup just like that. Second ice cube also in the cup. And the third ice cube, you guessed it, in the cup. Just like that. So the three ice cubes inside the cup, you can hear them there. Watch, all I do is wave my hand, snap my fingers, and the ice cubes completely disappear. Just like that. Now, in order to make them come back, all you have to do is turn the cup this way, give it a little shake, and you can kind of hear it happen. And the ice cubes magically reappear just like that. All you need to pull this trick off at home is some ice and a paper cup. You'll also need some scissors or a knife, so if you're a kid, you're gonna need an adult's help with this. All you're going to do is cut a flap in the back of the cup. So from the front, the cup appears completely normal to the audience. But on the back, we have our hidden flap that we can secretly fold down with our thumb just like this. The flap folds down and holds the ice inside the cup so that you can turn it upside down and make it look like it's completely disappeared. 
You can then reverse the process by upending the cup like this and moving your thumb off the flap to let the ice fall out of the cup, making it look like it just magically reappears at your command. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you with these tissues right here. So I got a box of tissues. So just take one of the tissues, take a few of them like this. You can see, we'll set the box out here. If I just take the tissues like this and I kind of ball them up. Here, hold out your hands. Watch, if I just kind of give it a little magic motion like this, look. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. They just magically appear from the tissues. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet trick. You want some? No, 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 no. Okay, here is how to do the magic candy from the tissues trick. You're just going to take some tissues out of the box like this, and then you can set the tissue box aside. All you need is the tissues, and if you just kind of move them in the right way, you see candy is just magically produced. Super easy to do and we'll show you how it's done right now. This is the secret. Before the trick starts, you're going to bundle up some candy in a tissue just like this. Just gonna bundle this up and then hide it behind the top tissue of the box just like this. So from the front, this top tissue hides it. And when you grab it, you pick up the entire thing just like this, hiding the bundle of candy behind the tissue. So that way you can show your hands empty at the beginning, pull a couple more tissues out, provide some cover, and all you have to do is split the tissues open. Yay! And it looks like you magically produced the candy from the tissues. Okay, I have a really cool card trick to show you. So I want everyone at home watching this video to think of a card, the first card that pops in your mind, lock it in your mind right now and keep it locked in your mind. Don't tell anyone, don't say it out loud. I have a full deck of cards here. You can see they're all different. Keep your card locked in your mind though. So think about all the different cards in the deck, but keep your card locked in your mind. So watch, all I do is take the deck like this and if I squeeze, it looks like all the cards disappear except for one card your card just like that now the question everyone always asks at this point is what happens to all the other cards well they appear over there the secret to the magic disappearing deck of cards is found right here in this box this is called a magic card fountain it's an electronic motorized remote control card fountain that with a press of a button will shoot cards into the air just like that Stay tuned until the end of the video for a special giveaway if you want to win the Magic Card Fountain. Take the money and make it rain. It's a downpour. So all you need to pull off this trick is a dollar bill, a paper note of some kind. I actually came up with this trick. This is one that I invented. And the other thing you need is a little plastic tray. I actually cut this out of a piece of product packaging like this. And then poke a bunch of holes in the tray just like this. So as you can see, there are only holes on one side of the tray. You have the plastic tray held on the back of the bill just like this. And we're going to fill the tray with water. Obviously, this is done before the performance. From a backside view, you can see this, but from the front, it's completely hidden hidden from the spectator. Then all you have to do to make it rain is simply tilt this back and the water will drain from the little holes in the plastic tray, making it look like rain is just magically produced from the money. Watch, take the card and stab the straw through it just like that. And then watch and pull it out and there's no hole through the card. Here's how to do this trick. This is what you need to pull it off. You need a plastic drinking straw just like this. You need a couple of magnets, some playing cards, and a hot glue gun. Your first step is to take some scissors and snip off the bottom end of the straw. You want a piece about this long. Your next step is to glue each one of the magnets in these ends of the straw. Take some hot glue and put it in the end of the straw just like this. And then take one of your little magnets and just glue it right there into the end of the straw. So now we have one of the magnets glued inside. It's time to glue the other one. So one magnet here, the other magnet is going right here. So just a little dab of hot glue here. Once you have both ends glued, let them dry. Now that the glue is dried, you should have a straw that will magically magnetize to itself. So the two magnets will hold together. You can hold the straw at the cut just like this, show the card and the straw to the audience, and then secretly hold the piece of straw to the back of the card. Then when you bring this straw down, the two magnets will magnetize together, and it will look like you have skewered the card on the straw. Then once it sinks in with the audience that there genuinely is a hole through the card, you can take the straw, slide it off, and show that the card is magically restored with no hole whatsoever. Take the coin and turn it into a magic wand. 
The setup for this trick is really simple, but if you're a kid, you might need an adult's help with this part. This is a hot glue gun. You're gonna take a coin, and you're gonna put a little bit of hot glue right in the middle of the coin. You're then going to take your magic wand and affix it to the hot glue and the coin. Now you want the wand to be straight up and down right in the middle of the coin. So that when viewed from a front angle, the wand is completely concealed by the coin. So once the hot glue is set in place on the coin and the wand, your next step is to practice the sleight of hand move. You wanna hold the coin so that it completely conceals the wand. From a different perspective, you can see the wand just there. But if viewed from the proper angle, it is a very convenient illusion that you're simply holding a coin in between your two fingers. Making the coin transform into the wand is as simple as making the quick movement of turning the wand sideways while concealing the coin in your hand. Take the coin and turn it into a magic wand. So you take the red apple and magically change it into a green one. Your first step is to take a normal latex balloon and snip the top off with some scissors. Step two is to take a green apple, just like this, and you're going to stretch the red balloon around the front of your green apple. Once you have the balloon in place on the green apple, it will look like a red apple from the front view. So your last step in order to change it from a red apple to a green apple in performance is simply to slip the balloon off of the apple as quickly as possible. So the best way to do this when you bring your hand over is to simply peel that balloon like that and it will roll up on itself and quickly palm it into your hand. So you take the red apple and magically change it into a green one. Okay, trick with two playing cards here, two normal cards. We have the six of clubs and the king of hearts. So pay attention to the six. We're going to fold it in half just like this and the king is actually going to get sandwiched in the six just like so. So the six is wrapped around the king just like that. We're gonna unfold fold them just like this. Now check this out, this is really cool. Um, it's a really easy trick too, you can do this one at home. So all we have to do is fold the king uh, just like this inside of the six, and then we hold it like this at our fingertips. And all you have to do, you can actually see on both sides, the king is uh, folded with the back side out. It's very close attention to that. Uh, as we push the card through, just like this, it looks like the card just magically turns the right way up, just like that. So we can actually reverse this process. If we push back this way, you can see the card actually turns back down. One more time, just like that. The card turns face up. Back this way, face down again. And you can actually open the cards just like this. You can see the six completely normal face as well and the back of the king completely normal and the face completely normal as well just like that the only thing you need to pull off this trick at home is two playing cards and a pair of scissors your setup before the trick starts you're gonna crease both of the cards in the middle just like that then you're going to cut one of the cards just there in this case we're going to make it the king so if you want to follow along at home cut your king just like this so you want to be careful not to flash the cut to your audience but the cut in the card is what makes this illusion possible when you place the cards face to face like this in the beginning of the trick and fold them up and then twist this card over as you fold it looks like you now have the king sandwiched between the six just like this with both of them with their backs facing out. What's actually happened inside here is we have the flap of the king folded over just like this. So now when you push the card through, it looks like it just inverts and magically turns over. Just like that, you can show it on both sides. And then when you open up the cards, you wanna be careful not to flash this. You open this up and show the six on this side, and then you're just gonna secretly unfold that flap right there. You can show both backs and both faces. All right guys, it is bonus trick time. Check it out. Okay, quick card trick with the queen of hearts. As you can see, this hand is completely empty and my other hand is totally empty as well. So uh, I'm gonna take the queen and we're actually gonna sit it on the back of my hand just like this. Now watch, you can actually see the card magically balance on my hand just like that. No wires, no strings attached, watch. is completely normal, nothing to find, you can clean this out to the audience, amazing card trick that you can do right now. Want to know the secret? Here's how it's done. This is all you need for this trick, a single normal playing card, and this, a magic 
fake thumb tip. We have these available in our magic shop at EvanAaronTV.com. There's a link in the description if you don't have one. Pick one up today. You can do literally hundreds, maybe even thousands of different tricks with this one magic device. We have them available in kids and adult sizes, and we ship them all over the world. So you take your thumb tip. We're going to have it on one of our thumbs to start the trick out. And then all you do is steal the thumb tip out behind the card just like that. And then you're gonna flip it over. So here's the backside cutaway view that the audience doesn't see. You're going to set it on the back of your hand just like this. And the thumb tip is actually what's going to support the card magically balance. And that is how you do the magic balancing card trick. All right guys, that is it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button please and share it on your Facebook or your Twitter. All the thumbs up and shares on the video really do help. So if you like the show, please help the channel grow. Also head over to EvanEraTV.com. There's a link in the description. That's our online shop. The magic see-through blindfolds are finally back in stock. A lot of people have been asking for those. They're finally back in stock. Check the link in the description. We have a limited quantity though. So get them now while they last. We also have magic thumb tips available at EvanEraTV.com and a whole lot of other cool magic tricks so check out the link down below or evanarytv.com all right guys it is giveaway time i'm giving away the magic props from this video i'm giving away the magic card fountain i'm giving away some magic thumb tips some spoon molds and some galleon giving away all these magic props to lucky comments in the comment section so be sure to leave a comment down below with which trick was your favorite and leave unlimited comments down below the more comments you leave the better chances of winning all right guys it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last how to magic video the winners names are magically appearing on the screen right here thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good Good luck to everyone entering this giveaway draw. Winners of the giveaway, be sure to send your emails to this email address on the screen with your full mailing address to claim your prize. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. Tap that subscribe button if you're new and turn on your notifications to see all of our videos. The shop's right down there if you want to grab some merch and support our channel. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.